Um, but that'll be how it goes. As it goes. As it goes. As it goes. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tech Tuesday. My name is Ben. I'm Tim. And uh, we're trying one more time, even though it's Tech Wednesday, I guess, for you. Um, had to shoot this again because of our lovely um, microphones. I don't know. I messed up. It corrupted. But here we are. We're doing it again. It's all right. We're going to jump right into it. Here's the thing. This computer can do SolidWorks all day long. The other computer does emails. All day long. Barely. Sometimes. Um, Poor so. Tim had the vid or something. Mm, Some no, nah, kind of. I had the itis. Or the <laughs> the day. Mm, yeah. I was sick, so it's Tech Wednesday. Yeah. Facts. Tech Wednesday and, and the audio corrupted, but here we go. Ready, audio set, go. <laughs> Question one. Um, 17 Lil Ruthless says, is an intake spacer necessary for dual plane intakes on the Royal Flush? If so, is there a thickness preference? Mm. Not really, right? I mean, as long as those throttle blades um, can open up. Well, you see, there's some thought behind that. Okay. I use the throttle body injection on our system and many others on a dual mm. plane intake. They're real good for torquey stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, they flow a little funny at the high end, yeah. but when it comes down to fuel distribution, the intake reversion of it pulsing back and forth and doing its job, that little dividing wall in between can sometimes make funny fuel stuff happen. Mm. So I like to run about a half inch spacer or even as small as a quarter inch spacer from time to time, just to have that little extra gap. If you got one of those really fancy intakes that has a little, the center notch cut right. out, right? Um, that's also preferable. It's it's really comes down to preference and whatnot, but I like to just be extra safe and throw at least a quarter inch on there just for fun. Mm-hmm. Nice. That's really about it. All right, question two. Actually, it's kind of like a two-parter. Um, Gavin yeah. Einstein, yeah. 8315. Yes. This guy's got a double whammy. I'll go ahead and do them both. Yes. Right. <clears throat> When will the step function, along with burnout rev limiter functions, become available in the jackpot software? Mm. And? No, one at a time. Brother. Okay. One All at right. a time. Fine. Don't get in a hurry. <sighs> Don't know the when. I know we're we're looking to activate all of our extra wires and functions and stuff like that one at a time. We're just getting thorough with them. Just like the launch stuff, it was there, but it you know, wasn't active, and we played with it a bunch and made sure it was doing what it was supposed to do, and then we just turned it on. <clears throat> for the people. Uh, oh, yes, for the people. I, you know, yes. That's why we ask <laughs> Tech Tuesday and become Tech Wednesdays, because Ben forgot to say for the people. I was out sick. No, it's that all is his not faults. what happened. <laughs> Listen, I read the emails. I know what's going on. It's not I, what I, 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 I don't know anything, really. Just a bit of tech stuff. <laughs> and, yeah. I know how to cook a good steak and how to wire a system. That's it. Yeah. And Outside build of that. rockets. And All right. Gavin Angston, 8315. <laughs> how can I get my TPS on my jackpot to read 100% WOT? Mine is currently reading 97.1 WOT. Nice. Maybe somebody laughed at that. I don't know. Oh, right. We're supposed to be all serious yes. and not comical. Yeah. Tough. Is that electrical throttle body things where it's not? That's not an electrical so. throttle body thing. Okay. The electronical throttle bodies, as you would say, um, they do their own gig. So if you've got a drive-by cable situation, our throttle bodies, when you zero the TPS, it has a certain amount of an ADC value, mm-hmm. usually around 150 or so. Mm-hmm. We tell the software this is what zero is mm-hmm. and go from there. Now, depending on where that TPS is clocked at, how it's installed, etc., it might vary your top range. It might go to 106, which I've seen. It might go to 89. It might go to 97.1 WOT. Um, but the thing is, like some of that, if you're really obsessed about it going to 100%, which our system doesn't really doesn't really care that much about 100. It's more like rate of change, where you're at, and then there's 
what wide open throttle percentage really means. Like it gets past a certain percentage. Anything above that's what? Because our fuel tables and speed density. Mm -hmm. Everything else is done off of a rate of change or a delta or what, whatever you want to call it. So it's kind of a, a whole different thing. So we got, you know, air density, velocity, so so speed density. In conclusion, it's probably at like oh. If you're if you mat the thing, and it's not reading a hundred, try moving your floor mat. If you moved your floor mat and it's not all the way, try to adjust your linkage. Yep. If it's still not reading it then you can crack the little bolts loose in your TPS and try to clock it just a little bit mm. further against a, against the stops a little <clears> bit harder and try yeah. to get that 100%. If you really, really, really want 100%. Right. But that is super not an important number because of how our system works. It's just, you know, rarely will you ever see 100. All right, question three or four, or I think it's three, maybe. Energetic, or I guess it's four technically because of the... Energetic TV. Energetic TV. Energetic TV, 9340. Can we add overrun fuel cut to the Deuce's Wild? Um, it is EFI, and we have all the inputs. It um, Have all the it inputs. Um, it would be a software thing, um, I guess, to add fuel cuts. Um, also, could we have a wide, wider range of acceleration enrichment? That would get... Uh, that would be great uh, because... He gets 9 to 1 AFR during fast shifts and minimum acceleration settings. Even pulled fuel out of the VE um, in the area, but that causes it to run more like 20 to 1 in the same area. Um, and he says it would be cool if we could do an alpha N as an extra VE table to trim off the main VE. That is really tacky. That, guy, mm -hmm. that guy's tuning stuff. Oh, these guys, yeah, they did a great. Pretty sure I may have talked to somebody over there at some point. No, that's all valid stuff. I mean, I'll probably screenshot that and send it up to the the engineering team. We'll probably have a whole different really conversation nice. about it because that's how stuff happens. You're like, if everybody's like, hey, we need this input to do this thing mm -hmm. or we need this output to do this thing, guess what happens? We all of a sudden, happen. a bunch of nerds that speak multiple different languages get together <laughs> and we start nerding up about some stuff and giving suggestions and all that whatnot because that's how it works. That that is kind of how it works. But then, all of a sudden, there's a fuel level input wire that we'll be coming on live with soon, and then there's a zero to five volt TPS output. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a neat yep. one. Um, and stuff like that, just like yep. you know, add-ons to the software, add-ons to the handheld. You know, I. Yep. I I have went on about a lot of things over the time that I've been here, and some of those have been pretty good ideas, some not great ideas, just, you know, but it comes down to personal preference, I guess. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the stuff that I'm carrying up the food chain has made it in. Yeah. Some things are like, nah. Yep. A lot of stuff is like, yeah, we'll look at that. We'll take it into consideration. And just like this, we'll do a thing. And I am a big fan of Alpha N. So... It's just more fuel for my personal fire. Let's see. <clears throat> Doc, 4244EFA. Sports, it's in the game. Um, <laughs> hey, guys. I have quick draw. I'm a four lady trans. Good choice. This has eliminated my speedo, my Odo ratings. How do I get, how do I go about determining mileage after doing service? Should I yell that? There's explanation points. A service integral. Well, that's neat. He needs the mileage. Get well, that paycheck. Well, to make your odometer work and your speedometer work in your factory vehicle, you're going to have to have some kind of a speed sensor. Mm -hmm. VSS? Now, like a VSS. Speed out? There it is. White wire. All right. The answer is there's a speedo output wire off the loose lead harness. Use that to feed your speed sensor to the vehicle. Mm. Mm -hmm. White wire. White wire off the that's, loose lead harness. <clears throat> that's on page 27 of the Quick Draw Manual. If you want to um, uh, look that up for yourself, head to our website and um, go to manuals. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. And then you can go down to page 27. You can read that speed out um, output for the uh, Quick Draw. Um, yeah. I thought that was it's a thing. It's pin. It's pin H. So H. H. Pin H. Cool. 
Also, it looks like there's only white wire on the thing. But yeah, I thought it's that was in there. Wire. I just wasn't a hundred percent if it was yeah. like in there, in there yeah, yeah. for the people. Question six, nineteen Motorsports says, "Hey, future Formula Drift champion Luke here. Will there ever be a crash course about tuning for sale by Aces? I think this is a very popular. Luke, I've question. been to your house, bro." <laughs> No, but that is that. That's the thing I want to plan on because, like, I'm building a tech department around here, and you guys remember when I used to look like death every mm-hmm. time we got on here because I hadn't slept in three days because <clears> and was, we didn't have a camera I, or yeah, a background. I was using an iPhone or and a, something we stole from a or show. Or tablecloth. Yeah. Or coffee. Uh, no, no coffee. Or a microphone. Mm-mm. Or lights. We did have that DJI microphone, which does a great job. I've been using it more on my yeah. YouTube stuff. But nevertheless, uh, that is a thing. After we get to a certain point of the tech department's up and running and everything is perfect within the walls of tech, um, at least. the <laughs> Yeah. That'll never happen. But No, it's, it's, it's never going to be a thing. There's always some kind of interesting chaos to continue on with. But that's, I mean, we live off that's, that here. That's what... That's how it works. So, yeah, crash course about tuning ACES stuff for cell bases. My goals are, which, you know, my boss, is he agrees with me, which is great. Mm-hmm. I want to get the, the ACES thing going and then start doing some more in-depth videos of actually, like, dedicating an entire day with Ben to film an actual proper educational video about our theories, principles, our software, our handhelds, our systems. Yeah. Uh, one at a time, but also doing stuff like webinars and then yep. like Zoom training stuff. I'll just get some people to sign up, and eventually that'll be a thing we charge for when the curriculum is solid and there's and we're not advancing certain things. Because right now, if I teach you something, three weeks down the road, we've put extra wires and changed the software. The drawing's different. Yep. Everything is different, and you just got to be adaptable to it. So yeah. it even gives me a headache sometimes because. I'll miss an email or something, and I'm like, oh, I 100% forgot that that will actually work on a Falcon 1 rocket. I'm not, Mm -hmm. you know. (laughs) Yeah. Very cool. Yes, you are. Uh Uh-huh. Nice. Cool. Hey, my phone dinged. Well, thank you for helping me reshoot this. Oh man! Bradley and I did this originally, and it was great. And then I went back to edit it. it you should in the splash screen. You should put you and Bradley's picture, and then like have me on it. That would be <laughs> just just put me in as Bradley. Yeah, I'll be I'll be Bradley Woodall. Yeah. Hey everyone! Thank you so much for watching this episode of Tech Tuesday. If you liked it, please leave a like down below. Um, if you have any questions about Aces EFI or EFI in general, please feel free to leave a comment down below also we are headed over to gainesville florida actually tomorrow you are i will be setting getting ready to do that um heading over to n m r a n m r a ford nationals it's cool i don't know all my people from art uh rtr is going to be there and i don't even go get to go do my ride along Joe's all like, oh, I'll go, I'll go. I'm like, I bet you would. <laughs> so, um, but yes, we are um, heading down there. So if you're in Florida, if you're in Gainesville area, um, feel free to stop by our booth, say hi. We'd love to come, uh, love for you to come see us. Um, but yeah, thank you again so much for watching this episode. And like always, we will see all of you in the next video. Bye. Bye.